Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. I, uh, I forgot to change my outfit. I'm still a little ninja. I didn't really get to use this one last time because we were in Ica Village. Danielle and I, we were visiting the creepy town. We got a few letters to read here. Let's see. Dear Adam, my heart yearns with every sunset. It's as if the sun and I had broken hearts together. My love was so pure, but now it's over before it ever had a chance to really begin. The lonely Gram- what? Gram? I don't know what he's doing there. And we got one from my mom here. Darling Adam, in the evenings I start to feel a hint of the coming fall, but it's still going to be hot for a little while longer. Take care, mom. So I gotta see what the, I got in that present there. And Nan is still poking around. I gotta be careful not to talk to her, because she might decide to stay. And I've kind of got my heart set on her leaving. So I've, I'm slowly paying off the town hall and everything. Let me get my tools out. But today I wanted to go visit uh, Drago and greet him and just kind of do some normal town stuff here. We have completed all of our shrunk jokes, so I never I don't really have to worry about carrying around pears unless one of my other villagers wants one. Jeez, look at all this. I gotta be extra vigilant and keep my town, you know, weed free and uh, and looking nice because if I keep it perfect town long enough, I'll get a gold watering can. I think we're on like day four or five maybe, and I thought it was three weeks, but I guess it's only like 15 days, so a little over two weeks. Oh, uh -huh. if I can have a big fish, uh, go to rub it in. Her oh, that's not his voice. If I can have a big fish, I'm gonna rub it in everyone's faces. New rules. Okay, so. Here's a little Totoro standy. I really want to put stuff on the sides of it, but I guess it's, uh, you can't really plant stuff close to it. And we got red today. I may come back and do him in a little bit. Just checking what's going on. So Copper's gonna tell me that, that red's in the town. But basically, I want to focus on keeping my town perfect. Uh, once we get past the perfect town, um, time, I might do, like, digest videos almost for a little bit. Because I know, even at this point, I'm, like, really far behind posting stuff like I've got I'm recording each day but then it's like I uh, I post them as I go and I kind of some days I don't have time to like edit them and stuff because this is one of those series I have to sit and edit and uh, make sure I watch the whole thing so I can know when to switch screens and stuff so anyways the long and short of it is I think once uh, once I get some of the major events down I'm gonna do episodes where it's like okay this is this week in in Goostin until I catch back up and then we'll be in modern times we'll be in uh in the uh, current time, and then, you know, it'll be nicer, I think, because I'm in the past a little bit, if you're watching this, obviously. Hey, wait, what's his voice like? Hey, Adam, it's me, Drago. You asked me to move here, so here I am. I really want to explore the town and meet people, but I have to unpack first. Let's hang out tomorrow instead, Adam. So he's got a cool, <laughs> for, for whatever reason, I think it was uh, Danielle's suggestion to give him, like, a Sean Connery uh, last dragon what's that movie called Dragonheart type of voice and I like that one because it kind of sounds like Mr. Drippy from Nino Kuni but um it's just funny that he's like completely Asian dragon but he's got this like Scottish <laughs> magical dragon voice so he's a weird combination oh we got another camper today let's check it out uh so Nan's gonna be leaving actually in two days time so we gotta start thinking about you know getting Ooh, okay this is the <laughs> this monkey looks like the secretary from Ghostbusters look at that mole under her lips Boop. Hey, are you from around here? Oh, great. I've been looking for a local to chat with. I'm just gonna be here in Goosen for a, a little while, but the town is really growing on me. Who knows? Maybe someday you and I will be neighbors. No thanks. See ya, <laughs> Elise. I think uh, she was one of the ones that was a potential move-in person, so she's already been to Goosen before. So yeah, my, my hope is that Pietro will be the next person to move in, but we'll see. Once Nan leaves, I'll have to I have to start thinking about that again. Um, I'm gonna head over and check out the shops and stuff, and we can do that today. Since uh, Red, I can I can always do him later. It's just yeah, I I usually have to look up like which art is fake and which isn't because I don't have a good eye for that yet. Let's uh, let's go into TIY and just see what they got. I don't I don't do this that often, so. But yeah, once we get through some of the more important events, uh, eventually we'll get the TNT Emporium here. I just gotta meet Gracie a few more times. What is this? Candy jar. I think I'll grab that. I actually have almost no money, so I gotta be careful. I need to... I, I've been using a lot to basically go to the island. I'll catch a bunch of bugs. This is a nice clock. And, uh, KK Rock. Sweet. I don't have enough for this. These albums are expensive. But I'll go to the island. I'll catch bugs and just go back and forth a few times. And half of it I put on my house, and half of it has been going to the town hall remodeling. So I'm kind of, like, dividing between public works and myself, so... Ooh, I like that bonsai. Okay, Leaf. 
Let's grab this plant here. So this is what I usually do, and uh, I get a plant, plant each day and go through here and grab all this. Oh, that's right. Hold up, Adam. Your purchase today comes with a happy bonus. Sweet. Okay, finally. I've bought 50 of these saplings. <laughs> it's a golden axe. It's so strong it won't break no matter how many trees you chop down. But, but wait, I'm not trying to give you the suggestion to chop through a bunch of trees. Adam, you've bought a lot of saplings from me. So use the axe wisely to make Goose in the most beautiful town this world has ever seen. Ha ha! We got the golden axe! Da -da -da -da. Bet this will never break. I'm gonna check this out. I can't put it on when we're in here. Let me let me go outside so we can uh, we can get this. So now I can go ahead. Once my town is perfect and I get the gold watering can, I think I'm gonna chop down a bunch of trees, and this is gonna help because then it won't break. Look at that! It's beautiful. Other than the slingshot, this is like my first golden tool. So this will this will be good for creeping up on some villagers. Let's check out the able sisters. Ooh. Oh, I guess I don't have to worry about hitting into stuff. The axes break so quick in this game, it's funny how all the other tools are, like, impervious, except for the normal axes. Avery's top walking around. He's going, he's going for the register! Get him out of there! Alright. You little nuisance. Yeah! What a coincidence running into you today, Pilfit. <laughs> That's a little... It's a little insensitive, but his, his uh, Nick... His, uh, little thing is, uh, whatever it's called. Catchphrase is pale... <laughs> he calls me Paleface. Alright, let's, let's see. I still need to get the mannequin for buying enough clothes, so maybe I should just buy a bunch of this. I have those space pants already. What is this? Snow shirt. Alright, let's grab some of this stuff. I think I have the icy shirt next to it. Eventually I'll... Oh, I gotta save my money. Crap, I keep forgetting. But yeah, I, I gotta keep buying clothes from her so I can get the third mannequin. And then the fourth one comes from Gracie, so I don't have to worry too much about that. I think eventually I'll get that from her. So, what do we got? We got a cool helmet here. I've got that. I've got a few of these already. Okay, let's go do, uh, let's do some coffee to wrap things up. So, yeah, I, I keep, I usually play afternoon or around noon so that Shrunk will, uh, tell me his jokes, but now it's, it's just so weird. I've, I've got all the expressions. I've, I've basically, you know, I'll see Shrunk on the weekends maybe or when I go clubbing late at night, but... There's not a reason to go give him snacks. He's become like addicted. He's gonna come follow me like a squirrel or something. He's gonna, he's gonna want his treats each day. So hopefully he doesn't like come begging at my door late at night for a, uh, whatever, a uh, pear or something. He's probably addicted. Ooh, look at this, a wild item. Not really. It's a leaf bug. <laughs> I like how they kind of like tease you. Normally you wouldn't find an item on the ground like that unless someone dropped it. So. It's a little obvious that it's... And the sprite looks a bit different, so... There's no... It didn't fool me the first time I saw it, but I was a little like, what the heck? And then... I think I had already heard that there were leaf insects like that. What? <laughs> What's up? You need something. Rossetti, what are you doing here? Mr. Rossetti's always angry and just yells at people. But that doll Rossetti, he's always calm, peaceful, and friendly to everybody he meets. That's probably what you think of us, huh? But that ain't right. My brother is very persistent when he gives us endless lectures. Ever been lectured for two hours long? Yeah, even I'm not that bad. And then you'll probably forget why you'll even be in lecture in the first place. I'm just saying, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And that goes double for moles. Alright, Rossetti. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's not quite as weird as K.K. Slider to see him walking around and sitting and, you know, doing weird normal animal stuff. But, I don't know, it's just, it's still strange. He's gonna watch me <laughs> serve coffee. Aw, uh, Nan's in here for one of her last cups. So she takes Blue Mountain with no sugar and no milk. I gotta... <laughs> today I'm determined to uh, to pay a little more attention to what the, the villagers say when they come from other towns. Because I'm always like talking to them and, and focusing on saying something else, so I like forget immediately what they want. There we go. It's, <laughs> it, it's just weird when I... I don't know. Every time I have some weird disguise or costume on, so it seems so strange when... I'm like, I'd probably be fired for having a leaf in my mouth chewing. I remember at my first job, I uh, I was chewing gum and I got in trouble for that because I didn't know that you weren't really supposed to chew gum at work. I guess I didn't think about it. Okay, Kilimanjaro. Uh oh, whatever this bird wants, I gotta give it to him. But I don't know their milk. Let's try just regular. I don't know. That's kind of a safe bet to go with and two spoonfuls. What is up with her hair? Or him, I couldn't... I think it's a girl, right? It's got weird little puffs on the top. Strange, what type of bird is that? Queenie. <laughs> Maybe it's like a female peacock or something. Thanks, now let's see how it tastes. 
You're just smelling it. Yuck, this doesn't taste right at all. I mean, use the right coffee beans, but everything else is wrong. Crap. I didn't know. You should have told me. Cranston, you're much better. I think he's a lot cooler design anyways than her. Shmoopy! <laughs> just gave me the usual. <laughs> I think somebody else... I can't remember what it was. Somebody asked me if I could, if they could call me a different name. And I can't remember what it was recently. I think it was Tangy. Maybe I should go talk to her. She called me... It was like a really strange... I think it was like Dumpling. She wants, <laughs> she wants to call me Dumpling. So that just makes me hungry for Dumpling. Uh, we don't have... I really like Dim Sum. Like Daniel and I would go to Dim Sum occasionally. But we don't have a good place around here to, to do it. I'm getting hungry. So that's probably why I'm... I'm talking about that. All right, so let's see who our last special customer is. If it's Captain, I don't have anything. That I'm like noting who I have stuff for and who I don't. Okay, it's Phineas. Ooh, I don't have anything for him. Did I? Who? Tiffany. I'm trying to remember who Tiffany is. I wrote down stuff for Tiffany, whoever they are. <laughs> Was that like a random villager? Okay, Phineas. I say, working part-time today, you're such a hard worker. Well then, could you make this old man a couple to the usual? I don't know what your usual is. Crap. He looks like... Whenever I see, like, a villager with, like, brown fur or something, I think they want mocha. And I bet he wants a little bit. And I'll give him three spoonfuls. This way we'll get a nice range and see if he likes one or the other. Because I have no idea what this guy likes. He's a little odd. I have a one a one QR code that reminds me of him that I need to use one of these days here. Thank you very much. Mm, ark, ark, ark. Mmm, mmm. You're quite skilled in the art of making coffee. The sweetness of three spoonfuls of sugar is the only thing similar to my usual order. Okay, so he likes three spoonfuls of sugar. And no... No milk. And no mocha. Okay. Well then, I'll be back again soon enough to see if you come up with. Keep at it. Alright, so I'll have to learn what he likes eventually. Slowly but surely, I'm getting all the special villagers. Let's see. And soon enough, we'll be done work. I mean, I could probably continue to work here for coffee beans, but once I get all the bonus items, then that's pretty much it for the cafe, you know, needing to work here. I have, I think, three more Brewstoids to get, and then I'll have the whole set. Let's see if I get anything today. Nope. All right. So we're going to have to keep doing that. See you, Mr. Rossetti. Is he going to say anything else? When it comes to coffee, I don't drink anything other than Blue Mountain. That's it. For aroma, richness, and sweetness, there's nothing even close to better than Blue Mountain beans. The Rossetti stamp of approval. <laughs> uh, I mean, we all have different tastes, so I suppose it could see how you might like something else. Do I have Rossetti written down here? I must. Yeah, okay. He doesn't like sugar or milk. He's just black Blue Mountain coffee. Keeps him up at night to spy on people in their houses. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I guess we can make a stop at Red's real quick. What was the other thing I wanted to... Oh, I was going to try to talk to Tangy, but I'm pretty sure she calls me Dumpling. So, let's head over here. I look like the uh, the little boy in the Animal Crossing movie. There's a there's an animated Animal Crossing movie, and the boy character dresses up differently each day. But I think there's one day where he's like running around as a ninja, and uh, he's got a bug-catching net like with, the, some, with Alfonso the alligator in the forest or something. It's been a while since I've seen that. So that's fake, I think, because that's on the other side. That's flipped upside down. Hmm. That one's already been bought. And that's a weird weasel. Is that a weasel or a cat? I can't tell. That might be the cat. I can't see close enough, because the cat is fake, and the weasel is real. That might be the cat. Okay. So yeah, it's weird. You would think that this lady in the painting would be holding a cat, but she's holding, like, a weird weasel ferret thing is in the real one, so... Makes it a little more unique, I guess. Got enough pictures of aristocrats holding cats <laughs> among the among the ages. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm having a fun time playing Animal Crossing. It's very relaxing and nice, so I appreciate you guys joining me. So we got our golden axe. I can go chopping down every tree in Gooston. So I will see you guys next time. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. And I'm going to, you know, stand here and do a little bit of shrunk funk shuffle. See you guys next time. <laughs> Goodbye.